Today's video, we are going to talk a little bit, and I would like to show you guys the difference between spray-on caliper paint and brush-on caliper paint, and what my thoughts are about the two. What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. Well, we're out here at my shop working on the second gen Ram mud truck to show truck project build or semen build as we like to call it. And I painted the calipers and the brake drums and the two paints that I've used was the spray on caliper paint. And I've also used the, the caliper paint brush on kits. So I did the front brakes in, with the brush because it was easier to apply um, to the front caliper and I wanted to go with the red which I could have went with the red on the rear but on the rear I went with the spray on because they are brake drums and I just wanted to cover it and how many cans it used to cover two uh, brake drums and in this kit you get a can some cleaner a brush and a mixer to mix the little jar of paint <coughs> can of paint that comes with it which I'll show you that when we go over that but let's first grab the the spray on paint and we will go back to the the rear drums and I will show you on what the the paint looks like and how it turned out so here is the rear drum that I painted with the the spray on caliper paint which is VHT which is now owned by Duplicolor and as you can see that the coating with the spray paint is a little bit thin or it, it does cover it quite well um, there are three coats of spray on this brake drum and I did not do three coats on the, the mating surface to where the wheel meets the drum so I did three coats on the outside and spraying this you know, you ju I just had to cover up my holes, so this way I didn't get no overspray inside of the the drum itself, and it was pretty much well easy. I just had to clean up the the surface with some brake lean, which I used, and then uh, sanded it down a little bit to get some of the the heavy stuff off, the heavy rust and whatnot, and then uh, I sprayed it, and it was three coats in it. It went on fairly easy. The first coat dried pretty quick, and then um. I just did three coats just to cover it up real quick but as you can see you could still see some of the pitting in this and that is from the the spray not causing the pitting but the the spray it, it, it's not that thick it just coats it coats the surface and you guys know that spraying um, paint you know it just it is what it is it just covers it But that's what I use to paint my rear drums on the uh, the second gen Ram project build that we got going on. Now we'll grab the other kit and we will move up to the front. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit that like, comment, and subscribe button because we are working on this. We have a few more things to go over and get it ready to, to send out back to Jeff's Auto Body and Customs to get the bed installed and then the truck will pretty much be all ready to take it out for this show season but if um, you haven't seen what the truck looked like before we start it we'll go back in the channel and check out that playlist and you guys could follow this build rather than catching it up catching up at it at the end but I'll step back here and give you guys a little look at what it is looking like now And we are getting ready to mount the wheels, which we have the tires and the wheels mounted on the other side. And there is the other front caliper that I painted. And here is the kit that I used to do that. And this was the Duplicolor brake caliper paint. And this is in red. And I know it comes in different colors. It comes in blue, black, um, 
red and I believe it also comes in yellow is the, the different colors that it comes in but let's take a look at what this this caliper looks like now and here is the caliper that painting it with the, the brush on and uh, I'll show you here quick in this kit and what what you get And in this kit, you get you get a caliper cleaner, you get a stirrer and a one brush. But I would recommend getting a couple extra brushes. And you also get a can of Dupa Color paint. And this is a pint of it. And what I did here is, and how the kit explains it to you, is that you don't have to remove your caliper to paint this. You could paint it. This, this kit is designed so you could paint it with your calipers on. But what I did was, took the caliper off anyway, took everything apart. I did leave, however, I did leave the brake hose uh, attached to it. I did not disconnect that. And I just masked it off and painted around it. And my thoughts about using the brush on. I like the end results of the brush on. Um, you get a nice cleaner appearance. As you can see, it, you get a nice smooth finish on it. And then uh, you really don't... It, it's a thick paint, so it covers up the, the pitting and whatnot that is on on the calipers but these calipers weren't bad at all and I did take apart all the brake hardware and I did paint this separate on a rack the brake pad holder on a rack and then I painted this while it was still attached to the truck I just placed it off to the side now there are three coats also of this caliper paint on here which is pretty thick the first coat went on almost like a an oil you can almost see through it um, the second coat covered it up quite well and the third coat well it just finished it off real well and however I did go all the way around and painted the other side of it and I just think that these uh, the brush on paint is a lot cleaner smoother look you get a I believe a more professional look with the brush on however it did take an awful long time for this paint to dry where within several hours I had the rears back together where it was took like three days for me to get this uh, back together because by the third by the beginning of the third day the paint was was dry it was tacky going into the morning and into the uh, the evening it was completely ready to be reinstalled back on the vehicle this style of paint I believe lasts longer because I did paint the fourth gen ram front calipers in this paint and it looks like the the day the first day that I painted them they still look clean and uh, there's no chipping there's no fading no nothing with this paint where I've known in the the spray on I've, I'd get some fading from excessive heat or whatnot so my thoughts on this is to go with the the brush on paint it's a you get one of these kits it just shows you the process of it it just takes a little bit more time and like I did with mine I just took it off but I just think you get a nice cleaner professional appearance especially on the front ones when they show and then we are going to be doing a brake conversion on this truck to where we will be putting the calipers on the rear and getting rid of the drum system and I'm probably going to go back and use the brush on. The only thing is that they give you one brush in this kit and one brush is just not enough. I went and bought like two dozen of brushes from Harbor Freight and I put a coat on it, touch it up a little bit, do a coat, throw the brushes away when I was done and I had plenty. So my thoughts, brush on for, for a show vehicle or something like that if you don't want to spend the the money to go with the very expensive calipers you can 
but I'll definitely be going with the, the brush on. Hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. And we are going to be getting the, the tires mounted here very shortly, so you guys don't want to be missing out on some of the videos we got while the wheels and tires get mounted, because I know a lot of you are out there wondering, when am I going to put the tires and wheels on and stuff like that. So it's coming real soon. Um, check me out on the other social media uh, pages, which is Facebook and Instagram, which I do posts and videos over there, a little clues on that. Well, if I didn't win your subscription in this video, well, maybe in the next one I will. Well, till next time, I'm Joe, driving trucks and hunting bucks is how I roll with Wicked Fabs. <laughs>